morning class. So over the last couple of days, we've been going over Espinanza Rising. And um, just to recap, we've had Espinanza and her mom traveling up um, to the United States, fleeing from um, their Theo Luis and searching for work in California. Over these last couple of chapters, they've been going up the Imperial Valley, and this is them encountering the San Joaquin Valley. So let's read this quote together. As he rounded the curve, it appeared as if the mountains pulled away from each other like a curtain opening on a stage revealing the San Joaquin Valley beyond. Flat and spacious, it spread out like a blanket of patchwork fields. Esperanza could see no end to the plots of yellow, brown, and shades of green. She gazed back. They looked like monstrous lions, paws resting at the edge of a ridge. So we're going to go over how to annotate a piece of literary work for deeper meaning. So let's start off with what words kind of sound really weird to you guys? Spacious. So spacious, what does spacious kind of sound like? Space. Yeah. So if you want to, let's see this one. Spacious. So you, first thing you want to do is always find words that you don't know. So spacious, we know, means space. So if you're reading the sentence, it says flat and spacious and spread out. So when you think spaces, it means it takes up a lot of space. Um, going on, when she's talking about a patchwork field, patchwork kind of thinks of like quilts. So it's like a bunch of different colors on a blanket. Um, does the quilt kind of talk about any colors? Yellow, brown, and green. Perfect. So we have yellow, brown, and shades of green. Um, what kind of colors does this remind you of? Nature. Yeah. So if you think about it, she's going up the Salt Lake Valley, which is very, uh, there's a bunch of fields, a lot of mountains. So if she's going through this field and it looks like a blanket of patchwork. She's kind of like describing all the different like plots of land, but it looks really pretty because she's talking about shades of green. It's not just green. It's not just yellow and brown. It's like a bunch of different, like a variety of colors. So it looks really pretty. Um, next thing is what kind of like pictures are there? What kind of things to describe like a scene? Curtain. Okay, so the curtain, opening a stage, uh-huh. The lion. Yeah, so monstrous, uh, monstrous lion paws. So if you are reading it, what kind of, when you're at a movie, the curtains are opening, or you're at a show. So it's kind of like revealing to you, like, wow, this is the new, this is the new like show, or I'm ready to watch this show. And the last one is, it talks about like monstrous lion paws resting at a ridge. So she's looking back at these mountains, and she, they look like lions. What direction are you running when you see a lion? Away. Away from it. So she's looking back at it like there's no there's no turning back. She's going to this new kind of like adventure, this new show. So if you read it now together, you kind of as a summary, you have she runs the curve and she's looking at this new stage of mountains. And the San Joaquin Valley looks enormous to her. It's spacious, it's spread out looks like a blanket of colors and she's looking back at like her old life slash you know the, where she's come from and all the bad things she's kind of like encountered already and she's like there's a lion I can't turn back so it's kind of like with all these like different words that she's describing it's giving her a sense of like adventure and also like she's really scared but the way the word that she's using teaches us how she's feeling and kind of shows us so the thing to take away from this is like, we can go over this chant, which is DCP makes quotes easy. Define, so define words that you don't know. Color, as in what kind of colors are in there? Are there any things that's like painting a picture for you? So yellow, brown, shades of green. And picture would be like more like phrases. So we have monstrous lion paws. We have curtain opening on the stage. So if we have define, color, and uh, picture, Let's kind of like, it, the acronym itself would be DCP makes quotes easy. So let's all say it together. DCP makes quotes easy. DCP makes quotes easy. Perfect. So you can use this kind of acronym and these new skills you just learned to apply to other literary texts. So when you're reading like complicated books, what you want to do is find the weird words, what kind of pictures are or what kind of words are describing what's going on? Or like emotion, Co uh, you know, green is a nature color, but green can also be like an ugly color if you're talking about you're getting sick. So think of like the context these wor these words are describing, and we have the actual lines like how they're describing like lion paws. So in the future we can um, use this idea and apply it to basically most literary texts. So one more time, let's go over it. 
DCP makes quotes easy. So define color in picture. Um, we'll go over more later in the lesson, but I hope this helps you guys.